I got brides in Atlanta, just to the in the family, credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the band, legacies. I want to welcome you back to Black Side. I want to talk to you about the Revolt Summit, in which we had T.I., Candace Owens, Tamika Mallory, Killer Mike, and Katrina Pearson talking about issues that pertain to the black community and some of the black pathologies in the community. Candace Owens, she spoke extremely strongly about not having two parent families and too many single mothers in the African American community. Well, she is right. She said 85% of the young men who go to prison come from single-parent families. Most of them who go to prison don't have a high school diploma. All of these statistics are true, but you had T.I. sitting there, moving his hands, being disrespectful, trying to gain the crowd. And he was shut down by one person, Killer Mike. And I'm glad that Killer Mike did that for the simple fact he said what she has been saying while on this stage, Minister Farrakhan has said for the past 25 years, and he couldn't say anything. See, let me tell you something. Facts are the facts. Numbers are numbers. Data is data. And she gave data. Just like Yvette Carnell and Tone Talks. Yes, they're underlying situations to any data. But this is why we should have Tone Talks and Yvette Carnell on that stage. Because they would have gave everybody a lesson on why ADOS is important, why reparations is important. Because we have fools like T.I. on the stage, just a pure ignoramus on stage spoke on, spoke, had the audacity to speak on reparations and said, Brother Jay Morrison said, if we're not a country, we're not recognized by the UN, we can't get reparations. Reparations is given in America every day. They're called civil lawsuits. If you file a civil lawsuit against GM and they reward you $100 million, you get that $100 million. You don't have to be recognized by a country or the United Nations. If the United States government owes $17 trillion and we file for that civil lawsuit or we file, they can give us that $17 trillion. So I don't know what the hell T.I. is talking about, but this is what happens. We have rappers speaking for us, actors speaking for us, sports figures speaking for us. Other communities don't let these ignoramuses speak for them. The Asian community, you will never hear athlete or actor speak for them. The Jewish community, you will never hear Barbara Streisand speak for them. Now, she may speak to other issues, but she's not going to speak to issues overall that has to do with the Jewish community. And the gay community, they put out two or three good issues. And they send a memo out to everybody. You speak to these issues until it's passed. And they will drive that issue into the ground until Congress passes that issue. But we have people talking about things they have no, if no, I repeat, they have no data on. They have no experience about talking about. So T.I. could come out from singing trap music, okay? his fledgling career, and now he's a pro-black activist. She is out there talking about illegal immigration, in which Candace Owens was right. The data is there. Illegal immigration hurts African-American men more than anybody in America. I want you to go take a look at the factory in Chicago. I want you to go take a look at the factory in South Carolina and the one they just raided in Mississippi, the ICE raided. 
you had 800 jobs in the city of Chicago in which illegal immigrants held these jobs. And once ICE raided them, they had to go out and hire African Americans. This is all out there. The illegal immigrants was paid a little bit over $10 an hour. African Americans was paid $14.50 an hour. Because when they had to hire African Americans, they had to raise the wages. The same thing in Mississippi. What happened? Illegal immigrants is out. Black men and black women are in. The wages go up. More job opportunities for us. But our politicians... Our athletes and entertainers are for illegal immigration. Evidently, they don't know that the data that it hurts African American males and females. But this goes on every day. See, you have to have your information driven by data because it has to be presented. This is why. Tone Talks of Vet Carnell, Sandy Darity always give the, cause see, one thing that happens with data, you could be on Mars, Jupiter, Krypton, data is data, numbers add up, one and one is two, any kind of equation you want to put together, if it's right, it's right, you know, you can have, like I said, underlying acti activities that says different, but you cannot have people running their mouth, agents of chaos, trying to stop a movement going forward. Now, I don't agree with Candace Owens all the time. I don't agree with anybody all the time. I take the good and the bad. And we must learn to take the good and the bad. We must not learn to shut everybody down we just don't, don't like. I don't like her personally, but I, I'm, I'm not going to listen to none of the data. So if Candace Owens, so, uh, uh, if, if a house is on fire, Candace Owens was saying, go this way and you're safe. You ain't going to go that way. You going to go the other way. If you right, you right. And this fool is wrong. And we got to stop people like him talking for us. These summits are put together not to get these issues out to the people. This is entertainment. And we're going to have to look at it as entertainment. It's not to say, hey, Reparations is one issue we're going to go with. Second issue, we're against illegal immigration. Third issue, we for good schools in the African American community. Let's put it down to those three issues. 85, 90% of us can agree on these issues, and everybody goes out there and pushes those issues. If you ain't got nothing to say good about it, don't say it at all. See, I know damn well when gay issues come out and they pick one, two, or three issues that they want to get to the problem, the people who disagree with them, they don't say nothing. They just stick to those three issues. But we must eliminate agents of chaos in our community. We must eliminate it, T.I. Because he was a complete damn fool up there. He was there to stop any momentum of issues like talking about reparations, talking about schools, illegal immigration, because he don't know what the hell he's talking about. Then he goes on Ebro and these other shows in which the clown car keeps going on and on. Man, I'm tired of this nonsense. Man, we about done in America. They about ready to get replace us with the Hispanics. And we're done because we got this type of foolishness going on every day. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and share this video.